Hey, what's up, bro? You that quick guy, right? Yeah, bro, is that weed, bro? Weed? Boy, this ain't just weed. It's that super loud pack. It's that super hot fire. All right, just chill. One hit of this. You won't be up in the clouds, boy. Is that so? I mean, I used to smoke that stuff, bro. But now I'm just, you know, focus on my gains and uh, weed destroys gains, bro. Creates estrogen, bro. Yeah, so you should stop. What are you talking about? There's no way that's true, dog. Because I'll be watching people on like Instagram, they be smoking and lifting weights all the time, bro. And plus, I've been smoking, I'm still getting, I'm still building muscle, bro. I'm still getting that get right. What you mean, dog? Now, how are you gonna come up in here and tell me what to do? You're limiting yourself, bro. You could have so much more gains, bro. You could be like Ronnie Coleman, bro. I don't think he smoked weed, bro. But you're just smoking this shit, bro. And it's just so fucking bad for you, bro. Your lungs. You're never gonna reach REM sleep again, bro. REM sleep? What the, what the heck is that? Siri, what's REM sleep? Here's some information. Rapid eye movement sleep. Huh. So you're telling me that I'm doing this and it's messing with my sleep that's ultimately messing with my gains? So this is not good for my gains? That's exactly what I'm telling you, bro. Like, you could be doing so much more better things for your gains, bro. Bro, like, this thing is like not good for your sleep, bro. You're not getting the deepest sleep possible, bro. So like, pretty much like, you're working out full capacity, bro. You're not recovering properly, bro. And also, man, it's high estrogen, bro. That's why I'm like, fuck it, like this, bro. It's fucking jacked as fuck, bro. Cause it fucking cut out that shit, bro. Is this true? Is this really not good for my gains? What am I gonna do? Dude, like, what are you even looking at, bro? It's over there, but uh, yeah, bro. It's totally killing your gains, bro. Like, you're gonna be looking like that for a long time, bro. With less definition. And I'm gonna be like this, just fucking like, bro. Fucking like 350 pounds of muscle, bro. But anyways, I gotta go work out, bro. So, catch you later. What's up guys, Quinn Beachwood here, and today's topic is on marijuana and its effects on fitness, building muscle, and bodybuilding. So uh, I have read up on it before as I have been an avid pot user for a couple of years. I'm aware of the fact that it does directly affect your REM sleep, well allegedly. Uh, these are based on the studies. Again, I'm no scientist, I'm no doctor. So this is just from my point of view. Most of this video, this is just about my opinion. I can see how that's true because I have had some cool dreams while I was high, but I usually dream less. Or if I take a break from smoking weed, I dream so much more during that break because I'm not smoking it. So I do see the difference. Um, however, sometimes, or a lot, oftentimes, especially when I'm on a bodybuilding prep, Weed actually helps me get to sleep. It's not a matter of staying asleep. Staying asleep, my sleep sucks regardless when I'm on diet. So for you bodybuilders, you could probably relate, but uh, it fucking puts me out and it makes it hard to wake up. So I actually sleep, it's weird. I sleep a longer duration of time, but I don't dream or I don't remember the dreams at least. So maybe the quality isn't as good, but I am actually able to get to sleep easier and sleep longer when I smoke weed. I'm not connected to a bunch of cables, so I don't really know how deep the sleep is. I do wake up tired as fuck because I'm still kind of burnt out from being high normally, but that's just my experience. Uh, but if you're somebody that has a lot of trouble getting to sleep, I understand why you would use it for assistance. However, I don't think that if you want to increase the quality of your sleep, I don't think weed is good for the actual quality. The next thing we're going to cover is hormones. I'm no doctor, I'm no expert. I don't know all the right words to say in regards to the endocrine system. I am aware that THC seems to create a rise in estrogen, something along those lines at least. And uh, from my personal experience, uh, when I was younger, I used to smoke weed and something that's pretty important wouldn't work. And I'm like, 
I, I never really understood what it was. So once I read up that there was like a correlation between THC and the estrogen, that started to make sense. I don't know if it's supposed to happen that rapidly or that quick, but uh, I don't know if anyone else has experienced that, but me personally, uh, that's the reason why I don't really use it like that often. I also find that I'm a lot less productive when I'm high, just in terms of my regular day. Another interesting thing is that when I'm high, my workouts are incredible. I don't do it often anymore. I used to smoke it and, you know, I go to the gym and I work out, have the best workouts in my life. My mind-muscle connection when I trained while high was just on another level. There's a lot of mixed emotions on this topic. There's people that say that they smoke and then they can't do jack shit or their workouts suck because they're just too whatever. For me, I believe I have an attention issue. I believe I have like ADD. It's not been diagnosed because I don't think it's that bad, but it probably exists to some degree. And when I use it when I'm high, so to speak, of course, I'm not getting blitzed before going to the gym. However, I would do it and my level of focus would be the best that it's ever been. And it's almost like once I was in the workout, I would just forget that I even smoked. I just felt like the only thing that exists in the world is me and the weights. And that was, I don't know, it's like one of the most real feelings I've ever felt. However, um, you know, having to smoke it, I'm not too much of a fan of. Lately, if I have trouble getting to sleep, I will use edibles for the most part. I'm not much of a smoker. I do it occasionally these days. Uh, I'm very phasey when it comes to that stuff. Like, I might go eight months without it, and then I might go like six months with it. Like, it's just very streaky. Uh, it's not something I really rely on. I do enjoy it. You wanna know if you can still build muscle or if weed is affecting you building muscle. It's not. If you're a bodybuilder that uses stuff, it's definitely not because you're already using aromatase inhibitors. So if there is a slight estrogen increase, I'm pretty sure that it's not gonna be the same as the way that your estrogen is gonna increase from you using exogenous anabolic hormones because uh, your body doesn't use all of it and some of it converts to estrogen, obviously. And uh, that's one of the main reasons of why we use the AIs. Is weed ruining your sleep? That's also something that I'm not too sure about. I feel like it says that on paper, but most people I've spoken to sleep better when they're high. So it's weird. I, I feel like I sleep better when I'm high, but again, I don't dream. So that might be a sign that the quality is actually less good. But I don't know, I actually sleep for longer durations of time and I think that is a positive. I don't know, man. Listen, if weed is complementing the quality of your life, keep smoking it, keep ingesting it, keep in, I don't know, whatever, whatever the kids are doing these days to get themselves high with weed, nothing else, because other stuff are bad. If it works for you, I don't see why you would change it. I actually know a lot of people that are not potheads by any degree and they, have a piece of an edible before bed. Um, on Fuad's podcast, he said that he does that to get to bed or smoke something, I can't remember. Same with Ian Valier, he was the guest on his show and they were talking about it. Those are both two high level bodybuilders that come in in tip top sharp shape. So, I mean, they said it and I've already been doing it. It just made me reconfirm that what I'm doing is fine. It's not something that's outside of the realms of possibilities and people at the top of their games are doing it. So. If we just go based off of that anecdotally, I think you're gonna be fine if you like to get high here and there. So I don't believe in going by the book, so to speak. If the quality of your life is better with the use of it, I would just keep it going. Don't just stop because you heard somebody on YouTube say don't do it. I mean, maybe don't do it. And there's research that proves the cons that come with it. However, those cons can be counteracted those cons can be nullified, right? So if you're somebody that's using stuff and you're afraid that this is increasing your estrogen, as I said, I don't think it's going to increase your estrogen more than gear will. So anyways, I just figured this would be a kind of fun video. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference in terms of your results. Uh, that's just my opinion though. I mean, really when it comes down to it, this is just my personal opinion. And <clears throat> listen, you do not have to do what I recommend. I'm not saying that you should do it. I'm just saying that the difference that it's going to make is probably minuscule. And if you're a bodybuilder that uses stuff, it's not gonna make any difference in my personal opinion. 
And if you feel like it's helping with the quality of your life, you feel like it's helping you with anxiety, a lot of people use it for anxiety or other mental health reasons. If that's something that you use it for, I would recommend that you keep doing it. However, if you're somebody that's just thinking about doing it and you don't already have an interest for it,